So welcome again to another episode of my podcast. This is episode four, and today we're going to talk about consistency. My name is Ray Woods. Podcast and YouTube channel is Crab Out the Bucket. Now, at this very episode, I'm going to be recording audio, and I'm going to also be recording video. And as many of you know, the ones that have listened or watched the previous podcast on episode three, I am in my closet. And I have my light, I have my phone right here recording to give you guys this information, to give you guys uh, the tips and advice from my past mistakes that's related to financial education, mindset, and career and business growth. So today, again, the topic is going to be consistency. And, you know, I wanted to talk about this topic because I left the gym just a little while ago and there's so many different thought processes that go on when people either want to gym, want to go to the gym or want to lose weight or they want to gain weight, they want to gain muscle, whatever the case may be. And the thing that a lot of people lack that is usually in the consistency of what they're trying to do. And the reason that people lack this is not so much because they're not disciplined. Some people may not be disciplined, but I believe it's also because of the patience. You know, you, you, you go to the gym and you think that you go to the gym for one day or even for two days and you should start seeing some results. And that's just not how it works. So when the impatient kicked in, when the impatience kick in, then the consistency starts to slow down and you wonder to yourself, well, this ain't working fast enough. Maybe I should just quit or this ain't working fast enough. Maybe I'm doing wrong. You know what? I'm just going to go back to my old habits and do another thing. And what I want to tell you from from my experience and what I made mistakes in, because I'm very impatient at times and the consistency lacked whenever I was trying to do different side hustles. And I tried to apply the concept of going to the gym and eating correctly. There is a bodybuilder that works at the gym that I go to. And this guy was completely shredded when it was time for him to compete out here in Atlanta one of the biggest bodybuilder competitions that was coming out here in Atlanta and dude was probably a half a percent body fat. Like he was so shredded. You could see the antibodies flowing through his legs when he flexed his leg muscle. It was crazy. But the thing that I noticed about these guys is that they're very consistent in their meal plans. They're very consistent on like they carry scales with them to measure out how much food they need to eat. They eat six to seven times a day. They do these things and they keep continuing and they keep doing it and they keep doing it until it becomes drilled in their head and it's a habit. And one thing that I messed up on in my past when I was trying different side hustles was that I wasn't taking things day by day. I wanted to look too far into the future and I wanted to uh, think that those things in the future, my dream in the future was going to happen right now. And that's the mistake that I made and the mistake that some other people make when they're trying to accomplish something. The impatience kicks in. The 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 dream becomes a false reality until the time is put in. You have to calculate time into this. And a lot of people do the formula without time. And so when you do the formula without time to get to success, you never get there. Because if it's not happening right then and there, then the doubt starts to kick in and then consistency starts to go away. And with consistency... Yes, it may take some discipline, but I think when you're patient and you take time to do things step by step and just kind of take it, uh, take it day by day and and, and pretty much bring it to the point where it's not something you want to hurry and rush for. It's something that you want to enjoy. It's, It's a process that you want to relax and go through when you're going to the gym and you start lifting. And let's say you're a guy and you're benching 225. Or your goal is 225 and week one, you're at 185 and in week two, you're at 205 and you start to see the progress. That right there is a better feeling than something just coming the next day. Then you're going to be like, okay, well, what next? You know, so you want to you want to understand that things are going to take time. You want to understand that the only way that things are going to manifest is if you be patient and then you can stay consistent. You can stay consistent because you're not worried about things happening so fast. You know, it's funny because when the guy's meal plan, my wife does her meal plan as well. And whenever she does her meal plan, 
I look at it and I'm like, man, you you know, you're making this food. You got to scale as well, just like these other people. And it's pretty much a habit. It becomes a habit. And once you have that habit, I'm telling you, thing wonders can happen. Now, I want to ask you this question. I want I want you to kind of dwell on this question. And I want you to look back and ask yourself, what is it that you've been impatient on? And ask yourself those things that you was impatient on. How inconsistent was you? When I was trying different side hustles, I ended up doing real estate wholesaling for a period of time and I had many failures in it. And it wasn't so much of the failures that pushed me away from being consistent. It was so much of nothing was happening for me because I tried to rush time when it wasn't. I tried to make something happen. I tried to force the time to be the time that I wanted to be instead of when it needed to be. And I wasn't ready. And then I ended up stopping. I was uh, completely inconsistent with it. And I completely stopped and I just completely let it go. And that mistake right there is what I want you all to understand that. Don't be like what I was doing. If you want to do something, stick to it. Just keep learning. Keep growing. And it's going to eventually manifest the way that you want it to to come together. Now, with that being said, things are going to happen. Things are going to happen. Things are not always going to go to plan. But you still want to stay consistent and still have the same discipline, the the same patience that it would take to uh, be able to achieve the goal that you're trying to do. So, again, I want you to think on that. Think of something that was inconsistent in your time period. Think of something that you kind of gave up on or that you kind of stopped and ask yourself, you know, why did why did you stop? Why did you stop? And I guarantee you most of the time it was because you was impatient because something didn't happen either the way you wanted it to when you wanted it to or something didn't happen the next day or it didn't happen fast enough. You looked at somebody else and you compared yourself to somebody and they got it in five days and you was on the 10th day and it still didn't happen. Let it go. Take your time. Everybody has and runs their own race. Just think about that. And until next time, my name is Ray Woods. You know, subscribe to the podcast. I'll be putting out multiple podcasts throughout the week. And you can also check my YouTube video, Uh, crab out the buck in my youtube channel there and whenever i speak to you guys next time i will speak to you guys next time in my closet see you later